Hello. Now you're watching this video because I've asked you to take time before you come for your session um, and listen to my um, pre-session talk. We can have this talk within the session but as you'll see it'll take quite a few minutes to explain and I want our time together to be the most productive it can be. Now I'm what they call a personal coach and therapist and what that means is I'm trained in um, some coaching methods, how to help you um, look at your life and, and choose the most positive way forward. But I'm also trained in therapeutic method, methods like hypnosis, like thought field therapy which is, is tapping. Um, I also do something called SciTap which is a very modern um, and, and extremely effective method of psychosensory techniques that we use um, and can, can create some very quick changes. So I have all this um, extra stuff on top of the coaching side of my business. Now, if you've booked a session, whether it's a breakthrough session or whether it's a specific session for uh, something that's, that's creating a problem in your life, then you will, when you arrive for your first session, you will probably be a little bit anxious because you don't quite know what you're, what you're coming for or what you're expecting. And that's why I want you to watch this video. I'm going to explain to you roughly what I do and how I do it. So the first thing I want you to understand is that we're all energy. As beings, we're all electric energy. Okay, that's the biological side of it. So I work with um, not just your mind, not just your body, but also your, your spirit, because you have all this energy inside you. The scientists now, with all their amazing technology, um, can now prove to us what we've known for many, many years, which is you have a system within your body that is rather like a motorway system, and it's a system of energy. Now, this is the energy that people that do acupuncture tap into. And they're called meridians, and they run all the way through your body. Um, and, and they finish in, in, in sort of certain places. You get the ends of the meridians. And it's the ends of these meridians that we use when we do the, the tapping on ourselves. Um, so this is, this is the type of energy work that I do with you. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you just how powerful your thoughts are. Now your thoughts, believe it or not, have an actual energy and they will have a physical effect on you. So that when you think a thought, if it's a positive thought and you continue to think positive thought, you actually can change the energy within your body and it will change the way your body reacts. If you are continually thinking negative thoughts, if you are continually talking to yourself in a very negative way, it will have a physical impact on you. Now, as we have our session, you'll start to understand a little bit more about this. But it's much easier for me to explain this now so that we use all the time within the session to help you. So when I explain to you about um, energy and about our thoughts, the other thing that thoughts are quite important is to understand that when you have a thought, it creates an emotion. And actually, that's what we are. We are emotional beings in a physical body, not the other way around. So your emotional thoughts will tell your body what to do. Now we have something in our brain called the amygdala, and this comes right back to prehistoric times. So that when the caveman was out hunting, when something came up that frightened him, this little thing in the back of his brain, there's actually two of them, but little thing in the back of the brain called the amygdala is the fight or flight system. It's that thing that keeps you alive, basically. And when you see something that looks dangerous, it's like a whole explosion going off and you get ready to either run or to fight. Now that sets off a chemical reaction within the body and that's when cortisol is produced and testosterone or adrenaline. 
Now, all these things come from a thought, from a, something you've seen, something you've touched, or a thought that you've, you've had. And they trigger this biological reaction. Now, this is where negative thoughts, and this is where anxiety, can have a massive effect on your physical system. Because when the amygdala is triggered, it makes the body ready to run. So it, you get that um, feeling of um, tightness, your, your breath starts to come up here into your chest, your heart starts to pump more, blood is going around your body quicker. The other thing that happens is you may have raised temperature or you may actually go quite cold, but invariably the temperature comes up, you start to feel that heat. And your brain your, just gets you ready for you to think forwards, which is why when you're in stress and anxiety, you often have a shutdown, you can't think straight. Because it's making you focus on getting out of that dangerous situation. The other thing it does, it stops your digestive system, which is why if you're having anxiety or stress on a regular basis, it will affect your digestion you may find that you start choosing sugary foods or carbohydrate-laden foods because your body wants to feed itself, getting ready to use the energy. If you're not using the energy, then you're going to hold and store that. And that's why sometimes when we're stressed or we have anxiety, it can affect our physical weight. So can you see how your thoughts and what you, how you see and perceive things can have a big effect on you biologically? So the other thing that I talk about in my sessions is we talk about getting to the root of the problem. Now often when people come to me, they come to me for a specific reason. Um, if they're coming, um, if you're going to be coming to me for um, direction, you don't quite know what's happening in your life and you want to do something different and you, you've lost focus on where you want to go, what you want to do, then we can use lots of different techniques. Um, but we'll look at why you're not being able to think things through. If you come to me for um, a specific problem, we often find that what you think the cause is may not be the cause. So the root problem is what we need to be looking at, and that's my job. My job is to help you to facilitate the change in you, to help you find what the problem is. So we will look at all sorts of things. Um, there'll be different questions that I'll ask you. And I want you to understand that you need to be very straight with me and I'll be very straight with you. This is a relationship that needs to be very honest. So if you think you know what the problem is, a lot of the times there's something that's underlying that. So we need to get to the root cause. Because if you've had treatment before, if you've been to a counsellor or maybe had CBT or one of these other techniques, you've been to somebody else, you may find that what's happened that is that you've worked on the problem, what you see as the problem, the conscious mind has created the problem. And you may think that you've cleared it, but it'll come back up again because if you don't get at the root, then it can grow again. So being very honest is most important. So we will look for the root cause. If we're not sure what the root cause is, if you don't know where, where your issue lies, that's, that's my job. That's where I'm trained in techniques just to dig down and get at, at what, a, what the, the actual cause is. So being honest with ourselves and me being honest with you and you being honest with me is extremely important. It's a safe space. When you come to see me, it's a very safe space. It's totally confidential. Anything that's said within the room stays within the room. And I can't talk to anybody else unless I think you're going to harm someone or harm yourself. And in that case, then I will have to uh, say something to somebody. But that's very rare. I've never actually had to do that in any of my sessions because most people are looking for help when they come to me. So if you've started to take responsibility for what's going on in your life or the way you feel, then that's the first step towards making positive change. Now, 
Taking responsibility is really important. It's not my job to cure you. You actually have everything inside you that you need to help yourself, but you haven't found it yet. And that's my job is to find with you to explore what's there and how you can use it to make the changes that you want to make. So I will be quite straight with you about the fact that you've got to do the work, okay? I will do my very best for all my clients. I come into that room with my client with the intention of doing the best I can. Now, when I give somebody work to do, and you'll get homework because there are things that you need to do. You can't come to me. I'm not going to wave a magic wand and it'll all change. So you will have to take responsibility for your actions. And if I ask you to do something when you leave the session and you have homework, whatever you want to call it, if you've got processes and, and, and things to work on, then it, it's up to you. You can use them and you can make the changes or you can not use them and things won't change. Either way, you make a choice. You can choose to do nothing or you can choose to take action. I'm not there to tell you what to do. You have to do that yourself. I'll give you the tools, but you have to take action. I have a little saying, which is, I can put you on the bike, I can point you in the right direction. I can't pedal for you. You have to do the work. I hope now that you have a better idea of what we may be doing together. And because we're all individuals, I make our session very bespoke and it will, it'll take um, the, the path that it, it will take depending on what comes up and how the answers to my questions will affect you. So it's a very positive experience, it can be very thought provoking and I never know how things are, are going to be through the session but I do know that when you leave you will have far more tools than you had when you came. You will have techniques and processes that will help you to find a way to create positive change within your life. You may find that one session is enough or you may feel that you need to return and do some more work, gain some more knowledge or clear some more issues. It will depend at the end of the session and it's your choice. So I look forward to meeting you and you will have had instructions in the email of how to get to me and on the payment methods and also about the fact that I work from home, my office is up some steps. If you need any help or have any physical issues, make sure you let me know beforehand. So I look forward to meeting you and I hope that this has helped you understand a little bit more about how your session is going to be. Bye bye.